Welcome back to Swift Lessons for another mini tutorial. Today I want to teach you how to funkify your blues. I'm going to be showing you some very cool syncopated rhythms and also some staccato riffs and licks that you can apply to a 12 bar blues in the key of E. Of course it's very transposable. As always I got a full tab for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Now let's jump in. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Learning a basic funk rhythm using this dominant seven shape. In this case, E dominant seven. The seventh fret of the A string, the sixth fret of the D string, and the seventh fret of the G string. That produces the intervals one, major third, and dominant seven. Now this chord can also be expanded to include the B string and the high E string to form a full E nine chord. But for this exercise, we're just gonna keep it a three string chord and play the rhythm. A one, two, Three, four, and three. Real slow. Okay, so pretty simple. We're playing down, up, down, bass, down, bass, down, bass. Down, up, down, as we slide into the chord shape. And then it's just bass down, bass down, bass. Making sure that all of those uh, notes are nice and staccato, nice and short. Okay, now that's something that you can apply to a full 12 bar blues. This is a movable shape. The golden rule of guitar is what works one place works every place. So you can take this up to the 12th fret for the four chord in the key of E, A dominant seven. Back to the one chord. Notice how sometimes I hit an open string there. That's kind of optional right there at the end of the pattern. And it's very useful when you're switching chords to play an open string that is uh, palm muted. All right, now we can take that up to the five chord, B dominant seven, 14th fret position, same exact thing. Then the four chord. Now we're ready to finish up the 12 bar, the E seven chord for a measure. Then a split measure between E and B. I like to play down, 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 up, as I finish up the 12 bar blues on the five chord. All right, put all that together. Let's see if we can jam uh, with that funky rhythm over the full 12 bar blues in the key of E. A one, two, three, E, and slide. Bass down, bass down, bass down. start the progression over again or to end the tune. Okay, very well done everybody. Now you've learned how to take that dominant seven chord, transpose it to the four and the five to produce a full 12 bar blues with a funky rhythm. Now let's add a lead element to it using primarily the minor blues scale key of E in its A shape position. Okay, over the E dominant seven, we can play something like this, a combination of rhythm and lead. A one, two, three, four, and Okay, so that was taking that E dominant seven chord and playing slide up down. From there, we can fill in the space with a few licks. Lick number one. So that is the ninth fret of the D string. 
go into seven on the G, up a full step. Then we're gonna grab the minor third on the B string eighth fret. Bend it up slightly before resolving back to the G string ninth fret, that E note. All right, put that together and we have. And it's gonna sound great if you can keep those notes nice and staccato and maybe even palm mute a little bit with your picking hand, so. Okay, now we need a response to that call. Just staying right there on the root note. So, you put the two together. All right, now in lick number three, we're gonna add in this kind of chicken picking element. All right, so that was nine, seven, nine, nine, and then that nice, slow, slight bend on the B string once again. All right, then finally, we're gonna have one more lick for the E dominant seven chord. I like the relationship between short and long notes and also licks that are higher up in tonality and those that are lower. Okay, so that lick one more time. Okay, so we went up to the B note, seventh fret. And then we're gonna have the D note, E note, and then a bend of the third fret low E string, that's G. All right, slight bend, nice and slow to add some tension. Okay, right there we have four measures of E dominant seven and some very cool funky licks. Okay, now we're onto the four chord A dominant seven. Once again on that 12th fret position. But this time I'm gonna change up the rhythm and kind of uh, summon my inner prince. So I'm gonna picture an A9 and then just play it as a partial. All right, from there I can get this rhythm. All right, very cool, you can make it very percussive. All right, so I'm, I'm grabbing the 11th fret of the D string and then barring with my middle finger the G string, B string, and high E string 12th frets. I'm gonna slide up into that chord, slide up down, Next, I'm gonna change my finger position just to kind of give myself a little bit of space. And I'm gonna have the uh, 12th fret of the G string, B string, and high E, this time with the index finger, and play. All right, so I'm grabbing the 14th fret, down stroke, remove it, up stroke, and do that twice. All right, so that rhythm. I can add in some chicka chickas. All right, I got that for two measures before going back to the E chord where I can kind of recycle those licks. All right, from there, we're gonna go to the five chord, B dominant seven. We could play the exact same stuff for the five chord. Whether it be licks or that kind of cool Prince style rhythm. But instead, I'm gonna throw another trick in your bag. A very common blues technique is to take these chords that you might recognize as being half diminished. All right, if you put a low root on top of that chord, it actually becomes a nine chord. In this case, B9, the five chord in the key of E. So the thumb is optional. The main part of the chord is the sixth fret of the A string, seven on the D, six on the G, seven on the B. Wrap your thumb over to the low E string seventh fret, and you have a B9 chord shape. With this chord, you can play every single nine chord in the book just by moving it fret to fret and transposing it. The golden rule of guitar. One more time, what works one place works every place. Okay, so with this, we can play that exact same rhythm. You can use the A string or the low E string as your root note. I like to play it with the A string. And then do a walk down to the four chord. So. All right, then finishing up our practice routine, we're gonna go back to the E dominant seven chord. 
where we can rehash that lick and then the split measure. All right, now let's see if we can put that entire routine of full 12 bar blues, combining these different rhythmic elements and also these licks together. Okay, let's see if you can play along. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. A one, two, three, four, and... Alright everybody, thanks so much for checking out this Funk Blues guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash lessons. Thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob coming to you from Summers Point, New Jersey, saying happy picking.